Okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier. I just saw the horror movie Fear. Uh, should you go see it? Should you not go see it? Well, for those of you that watch Mike's instant movie reviews, you're getting probably used to this line. If you like horror movies, you'll probably like this one. If you don't like horror movies, you probably won't. So, um, that's about, you know, that's the summary of it. Um, so what else can I say? What, I'm just getting a little scared myself because a human being just, uh, walked in front of my vehicle. So in this, uh, nearly abandoned parking lot, but nothing, nothing to fear. Um, but about this movie fear, uh, so what's our, it feels, should you go see it? Should you not? Like I said, if you like horror, go see it. If you don't, don't. Uh, it feels very 80s, 1980s. And I kind of mean that as a compliment in that it feels... The basic setup is um, instead of teenagers, late teens, it's people around 40 years old, maybe 45. But good-looking people uh, in their young 40s settling down and uh this dude ron now i guess you know it really is not part of the story and i'm only making a point to mention it because in contrast to 10 20 30 years ago they would probably make a, a storyline issue about ron is caucasian white like me and uh his girlfriend bianca is uh What's the proper word these days? Black, African-American, whatever you like. Um, and it never comes up in the movie, which is kind of refreshing. As a, as a, There's no stupid fucking bickering or um, no cultural conversation or, or joke or anything. At least not that I remember. And I, I did have to step out of the theater a few times. So if I miss something, I miss something. But it's kind of nice to see that they can just cast... Uh, white guy, black girl in a relationship without it being a plot point, which is kind of nice that we've advanced as a society. And I guess you could say, well, gee whiz, Mike, why did you have to mention in your fucking review? Well, I did. Okay, so put me in the fucking quandary list. What can you do? So anyway, uh, I mean, there is a little bit of feeling, I guess, on my end that Ron is trying, uh, he's trying to fit in with his multicultural group. He's all, he's also trying to kind of be the leader of the group. But it's nice to see this multicultural cast. Uh, actually, it's mostly black people and white people. So I guess, you know, there's other cultures that are not represented. As far as I recall, there was no, uh, none of our LGBTQ asterisk friends involved. But there's something, okay? So we got some representation of something going on here. But at the end of the day, it's a fucking horror movie. It's a like, go to the cabin and who's going to die? And what is the problem with the cabin? It's haunted by evil witches from the 1800s. And it kind of, like I said, it kind of feels like an 80s horror movie because they just keep throwing shit at the fucking wall and seeing what sticks. And to me, a good portion of it stuck. <clears throat> You've got like the creepy crate with creepy fucking tarot cards or voodoo cards, death cards. You get the fucking Bible and the, the, the girl with the cross on her neck and people dying left and right. And, you know, a lot of false wake-ups, like people are having a nightmare, but they think it's real, and then they wake up, and then two seconds later, they do almost the same thing, and, oh, they're just dreaming again. <clears throat> so a lot of things that you've seen as horror fans you'll see again in this movie. It's not the most original movie, but they don't try to reinvent the wheel in this thing. So I enjoyed it. And like I said, I think most horror fans will enjoy it. Um, as far as the gore level, you know, uh, the first half of the movie is pretty reserved as far as gore and blood and guts. Here's another person around my parking lot that I have to keep an eye on. The first half is pretty uh, safe. As far as that goes, let's keep an eye on this guy. It's pretty safe the first half. Where 
There you go. Pretty safe the first half. And then it gets a little bit uh, gory as far as blood and bludgeonings and so forth in the second half. I might just have to move the vehicle a little bit. Let's do a little company move because I just don't like this positioning. Hang with me. 